So, you've packed your bag, you're going on holiday and you've got to the airport, you've checked your bag in with the hope that when you get to the other end, your bag's gonna be there when you get there. But what actually happens when you check your bag in? And what happens, what's the journey? Well, you've come to the right place because this short video is gonna show you what goes on behind the scene at London Heathrow Airport, Terminal 3, when you check your bag in. Let's have a look. Have you ever wondered what happens to your baggage or luggage when you drop it off at the check-in counter? And by the time you get to your destination, it's there ready to be picked up in most cases, if you've done everything right. Well, this is an insight into that other journey most people don't think about when it comes to traveling. Partnering with Heathrow, we have a chance to see the process of checking your bag, stacking them, storing them, and getting them securely to your destination at Terminal 3, which saw 19.5 million passengers on 94,019 flights in 2018 alone. Since opening in 1961, T3 has seen a lot of technology advancements to help speed up how your baggage is handled. Going up to the baggage area alone is fascinating, and once you get up the lift, which also shows you how many meters above the ground you are, you're welcomed by over 13 kilometers of baggage belt. And if you're wondering how your baggage gets from T3 to T5, there's an underground tunnel with individual carts to carry baggage at 30 miles per hour. That is a lot. When you check in your baggage, a bag tag with a barcode like this one is attached to your luggage. The barcode contains data such as seat location on your flight, your destination, and the baggage weight. The data collected allows for routing your bag through the system. There are 423 trays in each sorter, which carry the bags and the T5 baggage system has a bigger footprint, although bag numbers vary between the two terminals. Before a flight is built, a term which means building cargo and luggage crates that goes in the hold of the plane. There are huge baggage x-rays that scan the contents of the baggage, a process that previously required manual checks. Bags are x-ray screened for harmful or prohibited items before being built into containers. Once the baggage has been checked and rendered fine, they go through the belts to be handled by two robots and three robot arms. Baggage that isn't ready for flight, so for example, when you check in, let's say 9 a.m. for a 7 p.m. flight, they get sent to a storage where there are 4,856 spaces available and robots are programmed to locate what's needed and sent off to the next area where the flights are built. The belts use laser beam photoelectric cell continuous beam, big mouthful. So when the laser breaches, the system knows when to move and stop automatically. And it can even route empty tubs back to where they can be used again. When building the flights, the robot checks for weight and dimension like Tetris to figure out the best way to build the baggage into the crate. The base layer are usually the big and heavy bags, then lighter as you go up. The robot is capable of four builds an hour, which is very quick and efficient. There's also a manual loading area which uses another high level robot to help the operator carry up to 50 kilos of baggage and load up to 40 bags in five minutes whilst taking away the strain of manually lifting anything. That is amazing. So next time you think what's happening to my bag and what's actually happening while I'm traveling, just think about this video. And also five tips for you to make sure that your baggage gets to the other end securely and safely. Number one, don't leave on your baggage old tags. So from your previous trip, make sure you remove that barcode and any other tag because if you leave it on, there are possibilities and chances that that still contains old information that can cause your baggage to be routed to the wrong destination. Second, make sure you secure all handles and straps and whatever is hanging on your baggage. So if you have a hold all like me, make sure you secure everything in place properly so it doesn't get hang or hook onto something else along the way that will delay your journey. Three, make sure new baggage stickers are on different sides of the baggage as well. This helps the machine to sort out your baggage very easily. Number four, make sure you secure the zips properly and don't overpack. I know it's very tempting. We all do, we sit on the baggage, on our luggage and stuff to get it to zip up and stuff, but don't overpack because that's just begging for things to go wrong. Number five, and finally, make sure you have something with your name and address and contact number or email address in your bag. So if anything goes wrong or if they have to sort through your bag, for whatever reason, they've got a way to contact you. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys have found it fascinating just as much as I have. And uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. All relevant information will be in the description as well. And make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification if you haven't done that yet on this channel. And a huge thank you to London Heathrow for letting us through the back area to see what goes on behind the scenes. It's been very, very fascinating for me to see. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.